Hi, it's Stacy here with Limelight AZ. This is week 45. I've done 733 stings. This has not been a very good week for stinging. Um, it's really not been a very good week for a lot of stuff. Um, it's just been chaotic. I really think that it's probably got a lot to do with Mercury still being in retrograde. I know it jacks my body up when that happens, or it did, up until... Uh, I think the last retrograde I did okay, but I was stinging regularly and had been for a while. Um, full moon, new moons have started affecting me. I think we're on top of a new moon, too. Or Yeah, today's the 16th, so today is a new moon as well. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just been a very rough week. Um, nobody's really had a good attitude in my household this week, including me. Um... I, mean, I suppose it could be worse, but it's just been kind of a, as far as how I'm physically feeling and how attitudes are in the household and things like that. It's just been an off week. Um, praise report though, that I did a video a few days ago, um, and was really frustrated. I'm so tired of asking people for money. I... I want to be able to bring money in myself and not be scraping by and asking people for money again. Um, I really hate that. And, um, and I feel like, I don't know that this is true, but I feel like people are like, well, get a job. Well, yeah, I would. You know? <laughs> And maybe that's just my own self-consciousness. I don't know. I just I feel very out of place by not being able to bring in the extra income that we need. And so that has me upset when I have to go ask people for money again. Um, but we were tremendously blessed. Um, I had a need of, well, we had a need of about $1,000, including the wheelchair that I'm wanting to get. Um, I was told by the physical therapist, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, I don't remember, or in the last update video, but the physical therapist is like, you need to get upright for every week that you're in bed, it's going to be another month of recovery. And we're not even talking Lyme recovery. What was I saying? Recover, oh yeah, that's not including, um, the Lyme recovery, you know, like trying to recover from the effects of Lyme. We're talking about trying to recover from the recovering. And anyway, so that was very nerve wracking so far based off of the estimate time ways of every week being in bed that it's a month of recovery. <sighs> Grand Central Station, I swear. Um, Anyway, so being told that every month, uh, or I mean, every week of laying in bed is a month of recovery means that I'm estimated at three years of recovery time right now. I am not okay with that. I do not want to be trying to get past this stage of having to have been in bed for the next three years. I won't, you know, the Lyme is hard enough to deal with. I don't want to be dealing with the effects of that the Lyme had on my body that I'm not really dealing with anymore, you know, of the Lyme, like, knocking out my muscles and making it so I can't move, uh, although I don't think I'm directly related to having to deal with that anymore, like, my muscles are, are growing back, but oh my gosh, you know, that is ridiculous, oh, anyway, so it's been a little bit of a rough week, I feel like I bounced on my thought process. I swear I'm turning more and more into Dory from like Finding Nemo. Um, I was talking about being frustrated with having to ask people for money and then I think I trailed off or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to that because I don't think I finished my thoughts on that. Um, so we were tremendously blessed. The wheelchair uh, that was going to be included in that $1,000 um, is, has been bought by a tour observant, um, sister. And, um, in addition to a couple of other things, apparently she used to work with, um, 
somebody who was paraplegic and so that I should get a couple more things like a seat cushion and some compression socks. So she got those things for me as well to try to aid in my recovery. Um, so, uh, between her purchasing that and the, um, money that people sent us, it was, it was pretty darn close to that thousand dollars. So, um, we are good again for a little while and I feel so thankful. It seems like, you know, I feel like people get tired of hearing from us and, and for us to be like, yeah, we still need help. You know, after many people have helped us and helped us in big ways, um, it just, it's frustrating, you know, we want to be able to care for our needs on our own and that's just not where we are, but I am tremendously thankful that when I put the word out there that we need help, that it's there, you know, and so, um, very, very thankful for that. Okay. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a rough week in other matters, not money matters, thankfully, uh, since God has provided for, for our needs for the, uh, financial woes that we were having. Um, but the, um, the week has just been a really off week. Like my eight year old, she tends to be the, I want to be perfect kid. And, um, she is deliberately disobeying the last few days and it is really annoying. Have no idea what's going on there. Um, she's currently been banned. She's, she's been banned to the home, banned to the home, banned. What am I trying to say? I am trying to say she is not allowed to leave the home. <laughs> for the next week until she has an attitude readjustment. Um, because this is not okay. I am proud of the good kids that I have and for one of them to be just recklessly, completely blatantly ignoring instruction is, uh, uh, nope, nope, not in my home. Sorry. Um, uh, I wonder if I should wrap up this video. <laughs> Um, anyways, so yeah, the misbehavior of the kids and stuff like that, I think is partly due to the retrograde. Um, I've mentioned in the other videos that I think it's quite possible that all of my children have Lyme disease. Um, and that is because I think I've had it since I was like eight, which since we know that it's passed congenitally, um, would mean that all of my children have it. Um, so when I'm having a bad week where things that are celestially going on, um, like Mom, for, no. I think this was a bad time to try to do this video here. I thought everybody was going to be out and stay out and nope. Um, Anyway, so when things are going on celestially that are affecting me, um, and I usually can tell before I find anything online about it, um, just because things are kind of wacky. Um, but that means it would be affecting them on some sort of level, you know, um, if they do have Lyme. Maybe not pain-wise or illness-wise, but just their kids. So they're also going to be more susceptible to it anyway. Anyway, so I try to take that into account when disciplining them, but you know, I don't know that that always works. <sighs> All right. Um, I don't know that I really intended this video to be kind of a complaint video, but I guess that's kind of how I ended up. Um, but nothing's terrible. In fact, quite um, quite excited that our ends have been met, our needs have been met again. Um, it's just been a weird week, just a weird week. So, oh, and the stings, I only got one sting session in. Um, and so that may not be helping my pain, 
I don't generally have too much pain anymore, but this week has been a rough week, so um, that's not helping my attitude or anything either, so, alright, I gotta go, talk to you later.